in my view, we have not yet begun to identify as Guyanese. The simplest evidence of that is that when Guyanese qualify, where do they want to go? Out of the country. The biggest ambition of qualified young people in Guyana at the moment is to go and work and live somewhere else. We do not identify yet as Guyanese. Until we start to identify as Guyanese, we can collect all the statistics in the world that Mr. Hughes recommends, it won't change the time of day. Sorry, can I just come back to Mr. Nascimento? I don't know what Guyanese means, and that's perhaps part of the problem. You keep saying Guyanese, but Guyanese to you is maybe a completely different thing as Guyanese to me, as it is to Mr. Dev, as it is to everybody else. You're assuming that there is a concept and a national uh, figure, a, a, a national um, uh, ethos that we commonly share. And I think uh, Mr. Phillips pointed it out in his presentation. If we don't have a common culture, if we don't have common values, uh, if we don't have shared obligations, I don't know what being a Guyanese is. I know it's an awful thing to say, but in America, to depict the most recent example, because there, there, there are uh, countries like India and the rest of them that have been there much longer, you have a commitment to a particular philosophy set out in their constitution. In Guyana, the first constitution was an inheritance from the British. Uh, when we attempted to assert our independence, we are becoming a republic in 1970. When we severed our relationship with the Privy Council, several people said to Ms. that Mr. Burnham was doing this because of his personal power. So when you say, and people say as they like to say, we must be Guyanese, you have to ask yourself exactly what does that mean? After 54 years, there is no common Guyanese-ness across the ethnicities. I'm sorry, but I, that is my personal view. So you can say, yes, they need, to be, uh, they need to be Guyanese. The second point I wish to say to you is, is that people leaving Guyana has nothing to do, and I'm talking about young, qualified and unqualified people migrating out of Guyana, has nothing to do with whether they're nationalistic. It is pure economic survival. And if people cannot make it despite the sacrifices they make to go to university and other educational institutions, they are not going to act against their own personal self-interest in the name of some nationality. They are going to go where they have better opportunities. And so I am sorry, young people are entitled to migrate if those who are responsible for creating the framework for development in Guyana do not create the opportunities for them. So it's okay to be very privileged to talk about being Guyanese, but the economic reality for those people is that they don't have much of a choice. I'd like to comment. Thank you. One, one minute, Mr. Phillips. I have one Mr. Shane too. Wait a who's minute. Been waiting Mr. very Mr. patiently Hughes. to make his contribution. Hold on, Mr. Hughes. We'll come back to you. Mr. Hughes challenged much of what I had to say, and he began by saying, he didn't understand what was being Guyanese. That is part of Mr. Hughes's problem. He sees himself as an African first. Okay. okay. The days no, no, upon no, when, hold, sorry, hold, no, no, he, no, no. I, I will not okay. allow him to get away with that. The days when somebody else defined me are long gone. You might not have recognized it, they're long gone. I define me and you can't tell me how I see myself with the greatest of respect. Thank you, and I apologize for the interruption. I'm not telling you how you see yourself. Thank you very much. So maybe we can, we can- Oh, I see you. Across talking one minute, Mr. Nascimento. That is of no moment.